What's going on, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Sean Bennett 618 and I'm back with another review, man. I know it's been a long time coming. I've been stacking up these shoes, and I haven't been doing no reviews, but I'm back. For some reason, this shoe right here, it gave me the motivation to jump right back into this game and give you guys reviews and unboxings when I get my drops. But today, we're going to go ahead and go over the Retro Ones Palominos. They just dropped. I know y'all been seeing them everywhere. Um, they similar to the Mocha Ones that dropped in the past. Um, and they got that crazy Travis Scott colorway, so I know the world is going crazy for these Palomino ones. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. But before we do that, I'm gonna need you guys to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on any views in the future. Let's get it. So, from initially opening my box, I didn't know the box was gonna come in this raw. This is a clean ass box. They've been real lazy with the retro one boxes, but this colorway on the top of this box is beautiful. Uh, shout out to Nike for that. Got the black and gold going on. You know what I'm saying? Everything look good. How the sneaker heads be? Everything look <laughs> everything look good though. But man, let's go ahead and I haven't opened these yet. Alright? I got them yesterday. Uh unboxed them on my the box that's on top of them this morning. Uh, and then that's when it clicked on me. Like, let's do a review. So I haven't opened these yet. I haven't even seen how they looked. I haven't seen if there's any polyminos in here. They might whoop my shit. But we're gonna find out. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of this. Alright. That's what I expected. Would you look at that? Holy shit. Jordan, Michael, Nike, y'all went crazy with this one. Now see, I knew, I knew prior to this shoe coming out that this was gonna be an incredible retro one. Mind you, if you guys been following my channel, I'm a big retro one head. I've been rocking retro one since 2000 and goddamn three. Uh, back in high school. People weren't even rocking these. Everybody was on Air Force Ones. But I've been a retro one head for a while. It's cool to see them coming out with great colorways. I know sometimes they come out with some bogus colorways. But, you know, to see the good colorways this year is actually a great thing because uh, they was fucking up last year. But everything looks smooth, man. The, the suede on it looks very, very, very high quality. Um, even from the boss, everything looks cool. Um, what I do like, the first thing that popped off, is the midsole, it got like a little tan little color to it. It's more so like, not that bright white color. So that's that that was dope to bring that out with that. And uh, as far as the leather, the leather feels good. Everything's smooth, man. I like this shoe. This is gonna be a great shoe. I can't put it, I can't wait to put this shoe on uh, and let you guys see it. Then they got the, um, the yellow pad. Yeah, yeah, they snap. They snap overall. They snap the bottom, perfect. And they snap. Uh, shout out to Jordan Brand for this. Uh, Cause like I said, y'all know they've been coming out with some bullshit, but they back with this one. This one's gonna put them back in the game. Now, the Palomino ones. I'm pretty sure they sold out right now. Um, I got mine off the sneaker app. Uh, that's where I get normally most of my shoes from sneaker app. So I was able to get mine from the sneaker app for retail. But I just actually looked on GOAT this morning and the shoe right now is running for like 335, 340. I'm sorry, I said three, sorry. 245, 250 maybe. Uh, so that the prices is going up. People um, are really wanting this shoe now. It gives you, like I said, it's it kind of similar to the Travis Scott colorway. So a lot of people trying to get on top of these. Um, and this is a size 10, I wear a size 10. Uh, speaking of sizes, I got these beautiful ump toes right here man i wore them one time i didn't even do nothing but step outside in them but they're a size 10 and a half and i need a size 10 um i can fit the 10 and a half but it just feels more snug and comfortable when i wear a 10 uh so if anybody looking to trade dm me get at me on instagram like i said everything brand new i literally put them on walked outside and said these are too big for me so, uh, I'm looking for a size 10 if anybody got these. These in particular, though. I don't want no other shoe. I want these in particular. If you got this shoe in a size 10, please get at me. I'm willing to trade you, brother. I'm going to need that. But, anywho, the Palomino Ones is out right now. I hope you got your pair. If you didn't get your pair, I apologize. You're going to have to spend that extra little money. I've been there before. Uh, but it's a shoe I can't wait to wear. I will be going to Dallas um, next weekend. So, while I'm in Dallas, I definitely plan on rocking these. 
on there. Don't be a Phoenix also. I'm gonna do some reviews on some of their shoe stores while I'm out there just to see what kind of heat they hold in Phoenix this weekend. But yeah, other than that, man, the Palomino ones, they out. Go get them if you ain't got your pair. Go get them right now. These is gonna be hard. No. Other than that, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I will be doing a lot more unboxing. I've been slacking. Trust me, I know. I've been slacking. But I'm still here. And I'm still going to go strong for you guys. All right, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure y'all tell me how y'all feel about this shoe. Rate it. 1 to 10. What do you think? Do you think it's a hit? Do you think it's a miss? Let me know because I honestly think it's a hit. And it got that bread. Oh, man, it looked like the bread ones. With, man, look, this shoe would have been an instant classic if it would have dropped at least four to five years ago. This would have been an instant classic. If these would have dropped before the Travis Scott's, these would have been an instant classic. But shout out to the Travis Scott shoes because that's what made everybody aware to what Retro Ones was and you know, all the little new sneaker heads got into them with it. But we've been doing the Retro Ones, so man. Make sure you guys tap in though, man. I'm out of here.